Eleanor Fargin's Martin Pippin in the Daisy Field is a charming collection of stories that blend fairy tale elements with a contemporary sensibility. The book, originally published in 1921, follows the adventures of Martin Pippin, a charismatic and mischievous storyteller who travels through a fantastical world, weaving tales that enchant and captivate those he encounters. The narrative is structured around Martin Pippin's encounters with various characters in the Daisy Field, a magical setting that serves as both a literal and metaphorical landscape. This field represents a realm where the ordinary transforms into the extraordinary, and Fargin uses it as a backdrop to explore themes of wonder, morality, and the power of storytelling. Martin Pippin, the central figure, is portrayed as a whimsical and engaging protagonist whose primary role is to narrate stories that influence the lives of those he meets. His character is imbued with a sense of playfulness and wisdom, embodying the archetype of the storyteller who not only entertains but also imparts valuable lessons. Through Pippin's tales, Fargin examines the impact of narrative on human behavior and emotions, highlighting how stories can shape one's perception of reality and morality. The daisy field itself is depicted with rich, vivid imagery, creating a dreamlike atmosphere that enhances the magical quality of the tales. Fargin's descriptive prowess brings this setting to life, allowing readers to fully immerse themselves in the whimsical world she has crafted. The field is not just a physical location but a symbolic space where the boundaries between reality and imagination blur, allowing for the exploration of deeper philosophical and emotional themes. One of the key themes in Martin Pippin in the Daisy Field is the transformative power of storytelling. Through the various stories Pippin tells, readers are invited to reflect on their own experiences and beliefs. Each tale is designed to provoke thought and evoke emotions, demonstrating how stories can serve as a mirror to one's inner world. Fargin skillfully uses Pippin's narratives to address universal themes such as love, justice, and personal growth, making the book both entertaining and thought-provoking. The stories within the collection vary in tone and style, ranging from whimsical and light-hearted to profound and introspective. This diversity allows Fargin to explore a wide range of human experiences and emotions, ensuring that each story resonates with readers on different levels. The interplay between the fantastical and the real is a hallmark of Fargin's writing, and it is particularly evident in the way she weaves together the magical elements of the daisy field with the everyday struggles and triumphs of her characters. Characterization in the book is another strength, with each figure encountering Pippin's tales being well-developed and distinct. Fargin employs a range of characters, from the mundane to the extraordinary, to showcase the broad spectrum of human experience. Through their interactions with Pippin and his stories, these characters undergo personal transformations, highlighting the book's central theme of the power of storytelling to effect change. In conclusion, Martin Pippin in the Daisy Field is a delightful exploration of the art of storytelling and its impact on individuals and their lives. Eleanor Fargin's blend of magical realism and moral reflection creates a captivating reading experience that invites readers to ponder the significance of stories in shaping their understanding of the world. With its rich imagery, engaging narrative, and thought-provoking themes, the book remains a timeless work that continues to enchant and inspire readers of all ages.